Hey, having a shop on your website is super great, but did you know that one of the things that often gets overlooked is the thank you page? Of course, they go through, they buy your products, cart, check out and all of that, but when they get to the end, where do they go? Often they might still be sitting on another page or it might return to the home page. How about giving them a summary and also a thank you message to say, hey, thank you for buying this product. And did you know about XYZ? Or even tell them about your blog posts or some other products as well. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. If you're using Elementor, obviously with WordPress, what you need to do is set up a page. We're gonna call it thank you. Now at this point, you're probably thinking, don't you need a template? That's what I used to think too. But Elementor give you a widget that you can use that's gonna help you out. So let's go and add a page. I've called it thank you, and then I'm gonna hit edit with Elemental. Now the widget we're gonna use is one that a lot of people do sometimes overlook. I'm just gonna type into here, summary. It's the purchase summary widget. Now you've probably seen it and completely ignored it because we tend to focus on like cart and checkout and obviously single product templates and stuff like that. I'm gonna drop this in here. This will now give you a summary of one of your products that maybe you've sold, the five day challenge, we give that away for free. However, the price I think has gone up to five pounds now at the time of recording, but hey, look, it was free at the time of this. Anyway, look, you drop it in. Now we do have the title here, so let's just get rid of that before we carry on. Go over to your bottom left with your settings, high title, and we're gonna leave it as the default. I'm just gonna hit publish for now. Now, when you hit publish, it will say, do you wanna set this up as your purchase summary page? I am gonna hit no thanks, because I'm using this on my actual website and I don't wanna use this. But normally what you would do is you would hit save. Now, I will show you though how you can assign a different page to this later on. Now, let's go and stylize this a little bit. Let's just go over to our section and make this a box, and I'm gonna go with about 1,000, something like that. You might even wanna go with 900. You know, you don't need it to be a full width page. Now, bear in mind, this is an elemental page. So I could add in another section or a container above, below. I could add in another column over here if I want. And in this column down here, obviously make the page wider. You might drop in other products, posts, maybe some affiliate links, you know, for SiteGround, Elemental Cloud, Burfa, Rank Math, Bricks. They don't have one in Bricks, but you get the idea. So there's loads of stuff you could do here. The key thing really is that over here, right, in this section, you can stylize it any way you want. The background color, the gradient, images, whatever. You can even start to define the typography as well. Now, the bit I really want to focus on because this is going to be a bit of a short video. I'm not stylizing this. You would go away and go through all of these functionalities yourself. But here is the good, the, the good bit where you have messages. It says, thank you. Your order has been successfully blah, blah, blah. I've done it big on purpose just so you can see it on the screen. You can choose whether you're going to have that or not. So if you decide to have it, fine, put it in there. But here's the really key bit. I am going to get rid of everything we have here at the moment. And I am now going to click the dynamic tags. And down here, I'm going to scroll down until I get to user info. Then I'm going to hit the spanner and the wrench. And then from the field, I am now going to pick which field to pull through. Now, this is what would have been completed at the time they did the checkout process. So username, first name, last name. I would say first name is a pretty good one to go with, especially if the username is something like I suck. You probably don't want that all over your website. Anyway, we now have the name come up of the last purchase person, which happens to be me. Now let's hit, hit advanced. Here's where we can add in some further text before and after. So I might say, uh, well done. And what will happen is you'll get the word well done now appear before my name. I'm going to put in a comma and put a space in as well. Afterwards, I might put something else in like, well done, Imran, uh, great to have you. Great to have you. This is not the most innovative statement I'm giving you here, but the reason I've done this is because of this. If I now go over to where I've got the av after, right, I want the great to have you on a separate line. So I'm going to get rid of this and put in a capital G. I'm then going to go up to the beginning of that line and I'm going to put in a breakpoint like that. So on my confirmation message, I can literally put out some other commentary or something else. Maybe I want to let them know about a special coupon code. Maybe there's, I don't know, there's something going on in your world right now. You know, in two months time, you've got a special event or a special offer going on. But you could start to do all of this over here. And I just think 
This is a really super great way of adding in a little bit of individuality. But what if you have done all of this, but you never set it as your purchase summary page? So you've set up a page, but you did not at the point where it says update or publish, it's going to then set it up for you. So let's say you've come back to this in a week's time or a day's time. Go to the bar at the top, okay? Then go to site settings. Now, when you go to site settings, global colors, global fonts, and all of that, down here, you will see WooCommerce. Click WooCommerce. Can you now see where your pages are set up? You can't, you check up your account, your terms and conditions, blah, 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 blah. But can you see here, purchase summary? You click that, and this is where, okay, I would have now said go for the thank you. And I've got, this is why I'm not setting it up because I've got another thank you page, okay? But this is where you would pick your thank you page and that is it. And what that would then mean is that now when people go through your shop, cart, checkout and all of that, you have a thank you page set up for them. It's really, really simple and easy to do, okay? And it's something that I think a lot of people overlook sometimes. Remember, this is the purchase summary widget. It's over here. Let me just type it. This comes with WooCommerce, Elemental Pro. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.